Here's an equilibrium problem where the object is actually moving, but it's moving with a constant velocity, and that means the net force on the object must be zero. So if we start to decompose forces here, I'll decompose in a second, but we'll write the weight vector. Then I'm going to get my standard set of tilted axes. I'm going to decompose the force of gravity into perpendicular and parallel pieces. Okay, so this angle is the same as the angle of incline. So I'm going to have an mg cosine 32 degrees there, and then pointing parallel and down the ramp when I have an mg sine 32 degrees. Um, I have a normal force here. It's not going to enter into the calculations, but I'll just do it for completeness. Um, since the block can't accelerate perpendicular to the ramp, like squishing into the ramp or jumping off of it, the normal force must be exactly balancing the perpendicular component of gravity. All right, and then the thing that's in, that's missing from our diagram still is this, the friction force. And that's going to point the opposite direction of the slipping. So just that little F. I, you could even say it's, since the thing is sliding, that's an FK. Okay. So our, our force analysis is done in the perpendicular direction because we figured out the normal force is mg cosine 32. In the parallel direction, I know that the net force has to be equal to zero, otherwise there would be an acceleration. So I can just do the parallel analysis real quick and say that that friction force better be equal to mg sine 32. And that's 5 times 9.8 times the sine of 32. We'll pop up our calculator real quick. 5 times 9.8 times the sine of 32. And I did two multiply signs. Okay. 5 times 9.8 times the sine. 32 and I get 25.96 or 26.0 so 26 newtons is the friction force here